What's good, Red Nation? It's your boy Sanji back at it with another video. We have a special video for you guys today. We are going to be watching the Raiders' first round pick, but this is a little bit different. As you guys know, he played left tackle in both 2019 and 2020, but for the Raiders, he'll be playing right tackle. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys the 2018 tape of Alex Leatherwood when he was playing right guard. And the reason why is, as you guys can see, while he's playing right guard, he has his right hand down. He has his right foot back. And as you guys know, that's different than when you're playing on the left side, right? On the left side, you have your left hand down and your left foot back. So from a stance perspective, that's very different. I had scouts, smart scouts that know what they're talking about, tell me that they watched Leatherwood play right guard and he looked so much better at right guard than he did at left tackle. Uh, and it's not that he's a right guard specifically, it's the fact that he puts his right hand down and he's more comfortable with that. So this right here, what I'm about to show you is what he will look like as a right tackle for the Raiders. In my opinion, he look, does look better, man. And just a side note before we fully get into the tape, uh, number 66 is also a guard with the Raiders. That's Lester Cotton Sr., a guy who I liked coming out of college. Obviously, he hasn't really worked out yet, but he has a chance this year to prove himself. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get into the tape. You're going to see Leatherwood on this first play do a great job, in my opinion. He gets to the inside. Here's the thing with this type of block. This is a typical zone block, and he's going to do a good job getting his inside shoulder to the inside of this defender, turning him just enough for Jedrick Wills, who I believe that's who that is, and it allows him to then take the inside, as you guys see, and then he gets up to the next level, and he does a good job. Like, there was a small gap there. I think number 74 should have done a better job, uh, but the running back is able to hit the outside and still pick up about five yards, so it's not a bad play. Um... Leatherwood does a pretty good job, if you ask me, man. These are the types of blocks that he will be doing in college, uh, or in, in the NFL, I should say. Um, not bad, not bad from that zone perspective of things. And let's jump forward, man. Let's just get right into the next play. We'll just let the let the tape roll. Um, one of the things I did note is uh, Alabama does so many pro style things. Like it's very, very, very interesting. Um, they're, you know, these linemen are as pro ready as as it gets, you know. So uh, here he is right here just setting up, uh, keeping his eye, just keeping his head on a swivel, man. Like, uh, you got to keep in mind on, on this play, you know, everyone has their responsibilities. It looks like they're going to slide this to the right, which they do, right? 71 slides to the right, 70 and 74 all slide to the right. 71 ends up picking this guy up. And then look at how they pass this defensive tackle off 74 picks him up and then leatherwood keeps his head on a swivel picks up that guy that's coming back around and tua has all day to throw man that, that's a good play from an offensive line perspective all right guys jumping forward i want to show you guys this play this is a run pass option so the offensive line does not know if this is going to be a throw or a run they're going to block it as it's going to be a run uh number eight looks good man i wonder who that is uh, for those of you guys that don't know that's uh, our man, Josh Jacobs. Uh, but if you watch number 70 right here, um, watch what he does in this play. Uh, him and number 74 double, and then he gets up to the next level. And this is much better than, I think, the first play I showed you guys in terms of that zone blocking. Uh, he makes sure to turn that defensive lineman, and 74 gets to the inside. And then he gets up to the next level, and he seals his guy, seals his guy off. Now, uh, if this was an actual handoff, if the if this was an actual run there's some lanes there man the o-line does a pretty good job of course Tua throws the ball um and then this is i believe a touchdown i believe that's our guy right there too right um yeah man there's a lot of raider players on this alabama team right um yeah man 70 66 8 uh henry ruggs of course as well all right raider nation it's that time man it's, it's that time to up the competition let's get away from uh, watching him against arkansas state as you guys know arkansas state is not lsu uh, here's a good example of of just the length that leatherwood's gonna bring man look at this right here he gets his hands on number 99 and boom look at that strength look at how he bends number 99 right there that's that strength that leatherwood plays with and he's going to bring that same strength to the raiders obviously he'll be the right tackle um but he looks good man i'm very excited to watch him play and i'm going to show you guys some more plays as well 
Here's another play, similar situation. Watch how lengthy he is, man. Uh, he gets his arms on number 91, and 91 has no shot, man. Like, literally zero shot. Uh, let me actually just back this up to the all-22 angle. I think it's a little bit more clear. Uh, you guys can watch Leatherwood right here. Again, right guard, right, which is similar to playing right tackle. Boom, look at those long arms. And I think that's going to be such a great asset for Leatherwood. Uh, once he gets into the NFL, man, he's those arms, man. I, I think it's really going to make a difference. Boom, look at that. He has a, he has he has good feet too, man. I you know I that's a nice base. He's not off balance at all. He he's, his arms are extended. He's keeping those feet moving. Uh, at no point is he going to, you know, get thrown to the side by uh, number 91 here. And he just sticks with him and he just mirrors him, man. Uh, from the punch, it, just the ability to latch and then mirror that's great right there, man. That's, that's what you want to see. But uh, let's jump forward to the next play. Here's another place, a pretty nice block on number 99. He opens the gap up, man. The running back gets right through there. Not a bad block, man. It's a gain of, what, 25, 30 yards right there. It's a pretty nice block by Leatherwood. All right, guys, here's another play. Uh, we'll watch it from the Alt-22 because the end zone angle kind of looks ugly. Uh, watch Leatherwood. He's going to pull. Uh, he does a pretty nice job. Obviously, the running back gets hit in the backfield by this guy here, which slows him down, but had the right tackle actually just made his block. Um, Leatherwood does a good job uh, kicking out, right? You're going to see him right here. He does a good job on number six, kicking out. And again, the running back gets slowed down. Had that not happened, look at, look at all these blocks by all of these offensive linemen. And then Leatherwood does a great job kicking out. And the hole is there, man. That that would have been a big, 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 big gain. Uh, unfortunately, it's only a gain of a couple yards. We can actually just try watching it from the backside angle. Uh, the camera kind of moves around. But uh, Leatherwood, man, like, look, these guys all sealed their gaps off. You got a kickout block, another kickout block coming. And the lane would have been there, man. <laughs> and I think that's Josh. Uh, Jacobs as well, but 74, man, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Uh, interestingly, uh, I, I guess he kind of just uh, was a little late, but he messed this whole play up, man. My man Josh would have hit this for a touchdown right here if uh, 74 gets off his block and, and is actually able to do what he's supposed to do. Uh, Leatherwood, man, he does a good job. Uh, he, he does his job in this play specifically. All right, guys, jumping forward, here's a great power run. You're going to see a double team here between the center and Leatherwood. They're going to double team on number 91. Look at how they move him, man. Look at that. They move him, which is crazy. Uh, he Now, Leatherwood should have gotten off and picked up number eight. That's Patrick Queen, linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, he doesn't get there. I'm not 100% sure why. I, I, I'm going to assume that the center didn't get his butt kicked around to the left of the screen and actually seal off number 91, which is what he should have done. Um, and maybe Leatherwood, because of that, had to stick with that guy. At the same time, it kind of looks like number 91's holding Leatherwood. Can you guys confirm that? Is this guy holding Leatherwood and is he not allowing Leatherwood to get off his block? That's kind of what it seemed like, but uh, this was a nice block, right? In the, in the terms that he's moving people. And that's the one strength that I think Leatherwood has is when he... When he hits someone and when him and another player go one-on-one -on -one and they hit each other, Alex Etherwood is, is often going to win that because he's just a powerful football player. And the thing is, is a lot of people have compared him to someone like Tyrone Smith, a guy who came into the league. He's quick. He's fast. He has good feet. He's strong, but he has so much more strength to gain. I can't wait to see what Leatherwood ends up at the end of his career. I think it's going to be special. You know, just like that last play, um, Leatherwood moves people, man. Watch him down block on number 99 and just kind of look at where 99 is, right? Like right now, relative to this hash mark that you see in the middle of the field, uh, look at where, where number 99 is and just look at where Leatherwood pushes him, right? That's the power that this guy plays with. Like, look at that. Look at where he ends up. You know, these hash marks like are at least a foot and a half or, or, or maybe even more, right? Uh, and look at where number 99 ends up. He was like way over here. And the running back picks up a big, big, big gain. And that's behind Alex Leatherwood moving his guy, right? The running back squeezes right through this gap right there. And he hits it, man. That's, that's, that's a good block by Leatherwood.
Alrighty guys, uh, we're gonna jump forward to the final game of the season, the the championship game, or maybe this is the SEC championship game, I should say. You guys can see that there. Uh, Alabama versus Georgia, a great. You know, Georgia has some great players. Leatherwood, pretty nice block, man. You watch this down down block right there. He moves number ninety nine, like flat out moves him. Uh, now I do think he should have stuck on this linebacker a little bit longer, um, but that's still a, a gain of a ton of yards, man. You know, a lot of these runs that I, I'm, we're watching, like, it seems like Alex Leatherwood is the guy that the Alabama Crimson Tide want to run behind. Like, that's what it kind of seems like. And I think it is because of the fact that he's such a good one blocker. They want to continuously just run the ball behind him. And you can't blame them either, right? All right, guys, here's another great block by Leatherwood. A man, you know, the single man pass protection. He gets his hands on that defensive tackle, and he just controls him, man. I think I think Leatherwood's the real deal, man. I cannot wait to watch him. Uh, preseason game one, because the second that game happens, man, you, you guys know me. I'm going to break down every single one of those plays, every single snap. We'll be watching it, and we'll watch it like 10 times, and I will overanalyze the shit out of those plays. Um, He looks good, man. I You know, it's crazy because... I'll be the first to admit, when the Raiders took Leatherwood, I was disappointed. And, you know, Leatherwood's not the perfect prospect. And truth be told, I only watched him as a left tackle. Like, I never really watched him as a right guard. And, you know, I guess it does make a big difference for certain players to, to play left tackle versus, you know, right tackle or right guard. Uh, putting your left hand down versus right hand down, it, it could make a big difference. Uh, with Leatherwood specifically, watching him at left tackle, he doesn't look as good. You know, I always felt that Christian Derisaw was the better player offensive tackle prospect at the same time i felt that derisaw fit the scheme more than any offensive lineman in this whole entire class uh, even tavin jenkins a lot of people wanted him and he ended up winning the early second round um a lot of people are still like you know potentially still take him he's a he's a raider right he's like he's aggressive and he puts people down but I think Alex Leatherwood could develop into that as well. He's strong, man. He he honestly might be one of the strongest linemen the Raiders already have. So, uh, and that probably says a lot uh, about him. Uh, I would say. Um, but yeah, man, I'm excited to watch him. Uh, you know, you can just kind of watch how he he throws this defensive tackle with that punch right there, um, and he keeps his head on a swivel. You, you gotta love that right there, man. You have to love that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, if if there's any other type of video you guys want to see of Leatherwood or, or maybe it's Merrick, you know, I do plan to kind of go back and break these guys down a little bit more. I'll probably do like a second as well as even third uh, watch and tape of all of these different guys. A pretty good block right here. You know, he him and 74 move that guy right there. Uh, not bad. Not not bad. But yeah, man, I, I definitely plan to go in and break down more tape, get into these guys at an even deeper level than what I'm already showing you guys. Uh, Leatherwood specifically looks better on the right side versus the left side. Like, I'm 100% confident in saying that. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Does he look better as the right guard slash, you know, right tackle versus on the left side as opposed to, you know, what you guys have kind of seen? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time with another video.